Now your microclimate forecast presented by Bill Howe. Here's meteorologist Carlene Chavis. Felt like seasonal norms around here yeah. today. A little cooler, but <laughs> nice say, out for, there. For us, it's like, what winter? They're dealing with winter. Yes. We're still just trying to get to fall. Yeah. <laughs> Haven't hit it yet, doesn't feel like. No, tomorrow we're still talking about temperatures. They're going to be warmer than average. And no. we've been going on that train for the past couple of days. And so, actually, past couple of weeks. And as we go into our forecast for tomorrow, temperatures look to be running about 5 to 15 degrees above average with high pressure building in. But for today, a couple degrees below that average. 70 degrees is the average. 68 was our high for today. We had no rain in the rain gauge for today, so we are definitely at a deficit to start off as we go into our water year. And we're supposed to be average is about 0.86 inches, so we are still waiting for that fall front to move through and give us a little bit more of that rain. Taking a look at conditions outside, well, it's looking pretty good. We do have mostly clear skies for downtown, 64 degrees. Current temperature winds out of the west northwest at 5 miles per hour, and the humidity is at 84%. So while we're talking about an area of low pressure that moved in earlier today, it's going to move out by tomorrow and also high pressure moving in right behind it. It's going to bring warmer temperatures as we were talking about. There is a polar plunge with temperatures and also some snow that's in the mix that we're seeing across the country. So we have that polar plunge and a lot of cold temperatures that are moving in from the Midwest and stretching all the way towards the Northeast. Temperatures at this moment, negative two degrees in Bismarck, North Dakota. Four degrees current temperature for Rapid City. Also 14 degrees right now for Lincoln, Nebraska, and 19 for Chicago. That cold air is extending all the way towards the south. El Paso, Texas is at 45 degrees, and so and that's for the southwest, but 33 for Dallas. And that cold air will be locked in place. And it's with a polar plunge right behind this area of low pressure in this cold front. This is prompting the shower activity is uh, stretching all the way towards the northeast and we're seeing with the gray indication that is the snow that's moving away from Michigan and moving towards the northeast and a lot of shower activity ahead of that system that we're seeing all the way from Ohio towards Texas and even for Texas a little bit of freezing rain that we're seeing that will continue to push towards the east that's prompting freeze warnings as well as winter storm watches and warnings that will be in play for the next couple of days as that system moves towards the Atlantic. For us, well, on the flip side, we're talking about temperatures that are going to be warmer than usual for tomorrow. So 73 for the coast, 83 degrees for the inland valleys, knocking temperatures down with the area of low pressure moving in. So back into the low 70s by Friday for the inland valleys, as well as 68 degrees as a high below average, and that will be on the, at the coast on Friday. Temperatures will warm by the weekend, 70s for the mountains, also 80s for the desert, low 80s. And I haven't said that in a while for the desert, so a little bit of a cool down but it's not going to last that much longer. By the weekend, we're warming up again. All again. right. Again. Here we go. Thanks, Carly. You're welcome.